I'm Holly Kleindienst. I'm the forest fuel specialist for the Kaibab National Forest in Northern Arizona. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about fire restrictions. As our fire danger rating increases throughout the year, once we get into a high fire danger, sometimes conditions are such that we need to start enforcing restrictions. Our first level of restrictions is when we make sure that folks are only having campfires in developed campgrounds and we don't allow campfires out in the general forest. The next level, we start doing things like limiting the use of motorized equipment that doesn't have spark arresters and uh, start keeping putting out more public messages about welding on private lands and those sorts of things that can ignite wildfires. On those extreme years, when we enter those very high and extreme ratings, we may actually move towards a forest closure and actually keep people out of the forest to limit the possibility of ignition try to avoid forest closures at all, at all possible because after all these are public lands and the last thing we want to do is keep the public out of the forest. Not just fire danger, uh, but we do. That's the primary one that we look at is how dry are the fuels out there and how long is it going to be dry. We also look at how many people are going to be in the forest with potential for starting fires. And, um, we look at upcoming temperature, humidity, those sorts of things that will determine how easy it is to control a fire. If we have weather that's conducive to a high success rate on controlling a fire, we may not go into restrictions, even though things are very dry. When windy conditions are coming up, those are which really influences fire behavior, we're more likely to move into restrictions. We always say that firefighters are farmers of fire. We're totally weather dependent. When we can 100% predict the weather, we can 100% predict when we're going to go into fire restrictions. But generally, when we go into restrictions, is from two weeks to a month and a half here in northern Arizona. Our fire season is intense but short. It usually starts somewhere around May 15th, and then the monsoons move in around the middle of July to the end of July, and we usually are able to lift restrictions at that time.